To present the second of our Windsor McKay Awards, please welcome co-president of Women in Animation and general manager of Stupid Buddy Studios, Marge Dean. Thank you. I'm so happy and honored to be here to present this award to Caroline Leaf. Caroline Leaf began to animate in the late 1960s at a time when colleges and film schools were offering animation classes as an art form for self-expression. Ms. Leaf is a pioneer in three ways. She made under the camera, straight ahead animation with everyday materials, beach sand on a light box, wet paint on glass, and by etching images into exposed film emulsion. Also, her storytelling was adult. And she is a pioneer because she's a woman who was determined to be heard. She was bold enough to put her vision out there for everyone to see when there were few women doing the same. She's an important example for us all. Through the years, she stuck uncompromisingly with making personal auteur art films. The series of films she made under the auspices of the National Film Board of Canada include The Owl Who Married a Goose, an Eskimo Legend, The Street, The Metamorphosis of Mr. Samsa, Interview, and Two, two Sisters. They are They are some of the most amazing and inspiring pieces of animation ever done anywhere, as we are about to see, a bold and determined female voice. So let's take a look at the artistry of Caroline Leaf. My work is like finger painting on glass. I draw a new shape in the paint with a wood stick and fill it in with my fingers. Then I wipe away the old image with a wet cloth. So when I'm finished, there's nothing left except the film. Amazing, the mysteries of the human heart. Astonishing. For a lifetime of unique, stunning, and singular work in the field of animation, Asifa Hollywood presents its Windsor McKay Award to Caroline Leaf. Thank you, Marge, for your introduction. I asked a close friend and colleague of yours here in Los Angeles, whom some of you may know, Becky Bristow, to introduce me here today, but Becky hurt her wrist and cannot be here today. I'm delighted that Asifa Hollywood has chosen to honor my life's work with the Windsor McKay Award. Since 1968, I have been an animator doing direct under the camera animation, making hand-drawn 10-minute art films with an aesthetic that comes from the materials that I work with. Today, I look around and see that direct animation is flourishing in all parts of the world. 
It remains marginal to the mainstream, and being an outsider art form gives it license to be vigorous and innovative. Innovations feed the mainstream. I sing the praises of the National Film Board of Canada. This big government production studio This is where I made my films. We made films for special audiences, and turning a profit was not the goal. Today, the NFB continues to support local independent filmmakers across Canada, as well as employing its resident staff filmmakers in Montreal. It also co-produces co independent animation with filmmakers in Europe. If you would like to see my films online, visit carolineleaf.com or the National Film Board of Canada website. And thank you so much to the board of Asifa Hollywood. I see this award as a recognition of independent animation. Coming from the heart of the beast, Hollywood, this is a big deal. <laughs> thank you.